Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome to my first 2018 YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this fun interactive spin shaker card featuring a bunch of stamps and dies from Honeybee Stamps. I'm also super excited about joining the Honeybee Stamps design team and can't wait to share all my crafty creations with you using their awesome products. So let's get started with today's process video. Here I'm just showing you how I create the sticker for the honeycomb die that I'll be using on top of some acetate. When I work with acetate, I like to leave the protective sheet on the back of the acetate. This way I don't get any fingerprints or smudges on the plastic. To build up the shaker portion of the card, I just die cut another six layers of the hexagon bunches. And here I'm just tracing the outline of the die that will be used at the back of the shaker portion of the card that will hold all the sequins in place. To glue my layers together, I'm using a Zig two-way glue pen and basically painting it on and gluing two layers at a time. Once all the double layers are dry, I will then glue them all together. Since I'm going to be coloring with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, I'm using some Strathmore Bristle Paper and I'm stamping out my images with some Versafine Black Onyx Ink. To avoid breaking this die set apart, I'm just going to do my best and line up my images with the coordinating die, die and running the whole thing through my die cut machine. To create the spinner portion of the card, I'm just using the scrap piece of acetate and I'm just making sure it's long enough to spin around the shaker portion. And here I'm just finding the center of the acetate and uh, making a little mark and I'm just going to create a hole using a hole punch. Initially I had planned on using a brad to create the spinner part as you can see in the top right hand corner but I found that um, it made the card way too bulky so I ended up using a spin disc instead. So as you saw I just punched out a hole in my front panel and that will mark the spot where I build my uh, spin mechanism from. Before I start gluing anything to the front panel I'm going to stamp out my sentiment.
Remember that sticker that I created for the shaker portion? Well, these are the negative hexagons from that die. So here I'm just stacking three of them together and I'm just gonna take a hole punch and punch through their center. And then I'm just gonna use this and align the holes together on the front panel. So all this will do is lift that acetate piece from um, sitting flat on that panel and make it so that it is a smoother spin. The hole punch I used was a little narrower than the spin disc, so I just used my Silhouette um, Pick Me Up tool to widen uh, the hole and allow for that spin disc to sit nicely in the hexagon. And because I use the same hole punch on the acetate, I'm also gonna have to widen um, the center hole of the acetate. Rather than gluing the shaker portion onto that little spin disc, I'm just gonna cut a piece of scrap paper and glue that down first to the spin disc and allow it to dry. This piece will also sandwich that acetate arm in place and it will also make a nice base for that shaker portion to sit on. To finish off the inside of my card, I'm just using this Missing You stamp from the Blah Humbug stamp set. And I think it'll just coordinate well with this Happy Together Friendship card. Before gluing down the shaker portion, I thought it'd be fun to add these little bee trails. This will indicate that the bees are flying and it'll just add to the movement of the card. So that's pretty much it for this process video. But before you go, I want to show you how to put something like this through the mail so it won't get damaged. So the first thing I did was create a channel to slide in between uh, and underneath the shaker portion. Then all I'm doing is adding some foam tape to the sides of my channel and then sliding it back underneath the shaker portion. Just make sure the thickness of the foam fills that space between the shaker portion and the card base. Here's a look at this card in motion and just look at this beautiful shaker center. It makes me think of honey inside the honeycomb. Thank you all for stopping by and I hope this Honeybee flyby, shaker, spinner, card, whatever you want to call it, has inspired you today to add some movement and creativity to your cards. If you're curious about any of the supplies I used in today's video, check out the links below in the video description. And there you'll also find the link to my blog post. So until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye.